Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> America, what's up? David Buchanan. Ben Lively. Tyler Saladino. So you guys know about the uh, the pizza guy on the uh, the outfield wall? Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of an issue. I knew it right now. That's an issue. What? This is kind of funny. Yeah. The, first, the first game, it was like, yeah. if the, I, I saw it. If KBO was never filmed, like, America would never would have heard about this pizza guy. Oh, okay. So, like, is what do you think about it? What are your opinions about that guy? Do you know any people that think guy? that's funny? Like, friends, family? In my field. Whatever. Mm -hmm. just, I barely even knew about that. He's just on the wall. That was a Twitter thing. I don't have yeah. Twitter, so. It just makes me want pizza. I just saw it. <laughs> It looks like there's like four different kinds of pizza on one pizza, so it makes me want a lot of pizza. <laughs> How many toppings can you put on pizza out here? Nearly Like, yeah. can you do, like, I feel like many each slice muscles. different? Can we get oh, orders. Can you put yeah. squid on pizza? For each slice of What's the most common topping on pizza in Korea? Mayonnaise. Beef. Beef? Steak. Where does octopus fall into that? No? That's not true. They have, they have, have squid on the pizza pizza. pizza. We have octopus pancake, which beef, is like... Beef, beef and shrimp pizza, that's a thing. Triple scram. <laughs> so, like, the people in the States, they're comparing the KBO teams with uh, the MLB teams. So, for instance, like, the New York Yankees have the most serious wins, which uh, Kia Tigers has the most serious. NC Dinos, North Carolina, with, like, North Carolina and C and yeah. uh, the colors the same, they have a lot of fossils, they just say this is the North Carolina Dinos. Uh, they're saying the Milwaukee Brewers are the Samsung Lions. So you've uh, played in the Milwaukee, what do you think they are? Uh, Which big league team is North Carolina? Anything? Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Panthers, right? It's for football. Oh, I thought that was baseball. <laughs> Brewers compared to Samsung Lions. Milwaukee Brewers, Samsung Lions. Yeah, um, Lions, I heard, like to try and brew beer. So I could sort of see that. Midwest, there's a lot of woods. And there's a lot of woods in Daegu. Um, we're bright blue there. Bright blue on Sundays. Yellow there, red here, it's okay. Bright blue is the main color, I can see it. Sort of. So you know how we have like cleaning time after the fifth inning? Mm -hmm. And like every inning we have only one minute and thirty, but in the States it's like two minutes. So like the pitchers, uh, how do you feel about those cleaning times and about after the fifth inning uh, long cleaning time the break? Uh, <clears throat> as far as the time between innings, it's irrelevant to me. I'm, uh, a minute and a half is plenty of time. I think in the States, the time limit was mainly a contract thing with the TV companies. They have a certain amount of time to show commercials, just an advertisement part of the business. Um, the fifth inning break, I'm not a big fan of. I'd rather just keep the game rolling. I, know, I guess it's a break for the fans and the players. I'd personally rather just keep going. I mean, yeah, it's just do what you need to do to get ready for the inning when you're pitching. And, you know, I throw in between when there's two outs in that fifth inning. You kind of got to wait a little bit longer, but, you know, just part of it and get used to it and do what you need to do. So, yeah, as Tyler said before, uh, states have miles per hour, we have kilometers per hour. Do you guys feel any uh, difficulties and what do you feel about the differences? Is it whack? Well, Ben happens to be an expert in kilometers per hour, so when I need to figure out what a certain pitch is, I go to him and he's quite precise with it. He's real good at that kind of thing. And other than Eric, my translator's full spreadsheet about it. He's not available, but it's my guy. Completely false. I asked the translators first. Um, like, so just for the pictures, like, what do you think about the umpires in Korea? Like, they have like a big motion when they call a strikeout. Yeah. Like, what do you think about that? I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Get you fired up when you strike out someone, even if it's in, like not a big situation. It kind of gets you locked in for the next hitter coming up. And when it is a big situation, definitely gets you fired up. So I love it. it just makes the situation a lot cooler, and and it makes the hitter look that much more stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so each of you uh, pick a key player of our team and kind of introduce him to the American fans. Never mind. I pick Sung Soo. Songster reminds me of a cartoon character. He has so many funny faces, 
and he talks in gibberish sometimes, and even Eric can't figure out what he's saying, and he has to get a full-on breakdown from Songsu what he said, and he basically makes up his own words, and it's really funny. Mine's one team. Just he's a young guy coming up, and he's going to be really good in the future, and a uh, great guy. Me and him always have fun joking around, but when it comes to it, we always talk about pitching, and he just wants to get better and better every day, and he's going to be a great player when he gets older. Uh, JJ. He, he's loved by everyone. He's hilarious. Um, off the field, he, he's just a lot of fun. Very friendly. Always happy. Uh, but on the field, I first time I saw him throw, I, I just I respect the way he goes about his business on, on, on the field. Uh, and he's got great stuff, and I'm excited to see how he does this year in the season. Because from what I've seen, he's got really good stuff. Two all three of you. What do you think of the, uh, about the bat flips in Korea? Pitcher first. <laughs> Well, coming from a pitcher, I mean, you don't like seeing bat flips come off of you, but I mean, for right now, we're in Korea. I mean, it's okay. It happens. But for right now, since there's no fans, I want to see one go in the stands. <laughs> like, I want to see someone break a record with a bat flip. Like, if it's off me, it's off me, but kaja. So you actually want someone to bat flip over the net into the stands. World's longest bat flip. It's the only chance we can do it. Let's go. If that happens, would you run to them in the bases and high five them? No. No. I mean, if it's off me, I'd be. You know, I would just say. I'd be like, nice. wow. But then again, I'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> if, but, if you're gonna, if, if you're gonna do it, get your money worth. Yeah. Just wear it back and just. <clears throat> yeah. And then run the bases. Yeah. yeah. But same time, if you're gonna bat flip, it better be something earned. You can't bat flip a fly ball to the shortstop. What yeah. if it's gonna fall behind the shortstop for a game-winning run? No. 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 Let it fly. You just won no. the game. You better hit that thing at least a hundred miles. KBO style, hour. man. Part of the dramatics. No. It's a celebration. No. I just hit a winning winning run off you. No. You broke my bat. No. But it's a winning bat break. No. If you were to get a home run, the bat would have gone in the stands. <laughs> Hands down. We were down, we'd have been down what? We were down seven, so we would have been down four if I hit a home run. I would have gone in the stands. Brings us within Grand Slam range. It's a big moment. But yeah, yeah. Hands, no question. I would, I would have thrown down the right field line, just running down the line. Yes, that's it. Gotcha. Let's go. All right, so the Samsung Lions, we have been to 17 career and series, eight, which we have won, which is the second most in the KBO. During those eight, 11, 12, 13, and 14, we won the four in the row. Also during that stretch, we have won nine of the league series, and the Samsung Lions are also the first team to win the Asian series. So the most famous Samsung Lions player is Lee Sion Yup. You can see him all over our walls here because of all of his MVP titles that he had every year. And he has the home run record in the KBO. He has the most home runs in one season with 56. He also has the most total RBIs in KBO history. He is, uh, his number is retired with the Samsung Lions, number 36. He is the Lion King. Yeah, I saw him pitch in St. Louis when we played him in 17. And you know, like, we're like the outcasts over here in the KBO, like the Americans. And like, you see like guys over in America, like when I played with um, Hunsu Kim in Philly, like. It's kind of like they're in our situation over there like we are here. So when we see like a guy that's like Korean or Japanese playing in America, like they definitely like stick out and we like kind of like, well, who's that guy? And he threw very well against us and I remember, I always remembered him from then. I would want them to approach it as the same as they would in the States. Like just looking at a game that these are some of the best players to play the game and there's a ton of talent over here. So don't think that you're just watching baseball to kill time, like you're watching competitive baseball and guys that know what they're doing and are very talented so you should look at it if you're a very like analytical type person or you just like the amusement either way you're going to get what you're looking for with the kbo because you got a lot of guys who can play there's a lot of strategic approaches to the game but i, I think you should approach it thinking that you're, you're going to see the same stuff that you would see in the states all right guys this is kbo baseball we hope you guys enjoy it and uh hopefully you get something out of it that can help you out while uh, we're in this situation and maybe practice some backflips send videos of your kids doing backflips show us what it's like for you guys while you're watching baseball from back home you stay classy america
One, two, three. Enjoy Yagu! Done.